What's up, y'all? It's Dan, and I'm back for another lesson in drumming without drums. This is a super important and super fun lesson, and it's also not going to be very long. What I'm going to talk about is simply how to practice and make your practicing more fun. How about that? Because I know it could get boring playing on a book, a folder, and whatever household items you may have chosen and creating your drum set. I get it. So, what I'm here today to tell you is that you can play along with any sort of music that you like. And that's a great way to practice. You don't have to just practice the beat in the song. Now that's a good place to start. Start by playing a song that you really like, count the chord notes, figure out where the chord notes are, just count along with it. Then learn the beat, try to figure out some of the fills. But after you do that, you can also apply some of the rudiments that we've been talking about, some of these alternating hand and foot patterns, some of just 16th note fills. You can start applying all this within as you play along to a song. And it's a great way to practice, particularly when you're using a drum set without any drums. So let me just demonstrate. These are all original songs that I've written, so there's no copyright infringement. All right. Pay attention to other countries who have blocked my uh, monetization on other videos. These are all original songs. So I'm going to start out with one that's a little bit quicker, and just demonstrate. I'm going to play the beat, but then I'm going to mess around and I'll start telling you what I'm doing as I play with the song and showing you how you can apply everything that we learned to actual music and make it more fun. So this song was called OEO. It's a pretty quick eighth note groove and I'll just demonstrate a bunch of things. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the chord note. So it's pretty quick. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So once you learn the chord note, figure out the beat. challenge right there, just learning the beat. But if you want to just practice eight notes, feel free to just do this. You can do that through the whole song, just to practice getting your eight notes easy. It's like having a metronome, a machine that keeps tempo for you. But now you have a song. So that's a lot more fun. Now this is an example of halftime feel. It sounds like the group got slow. We just talked about that in the last lesson. There's a fill, you can learn that fill. But again, you can play rudiments. So if you're really good, if you're getting better at the rudiments, you can play 16th notes to this. Let's just play alternating 16s. Here we go. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. There, I got softer, I got louder. You can practice dynamic ranges, whatever you want. Just like you want me to pause this. So you can also you can play with that beat, but don't be afraid to experiment with other grooves on top of a song you may be playing. You can change up the beat. Feel free to do that. So you can do a number of things. You can use music as your friend. It almost helps that you don't have drums because it's easier to hear. The music. Now, of course, if you had a nice setup, you could have a real drum set, you could have some headphones, and everything would be hunky dory. But wherever you are, whatever country, whatever your, whatever your situation is, you can use music as your friend and use it as a fun way to practice. I'll just demonstrate one other thing. I'll play along with one other song that's at a different tempo. This is a slower song. This is like a slower 16th note groove. This is called Get You Always. I'll post some links to these songs in case you want to play along with them. But this starts pretty slow. Well, it stays pretty slow. Nothing left to do. Two. 
Stay tuned. I'm going to be posting more lessons shortly. See you then.